Um, what you'll see at the start is everyone go for a spawn of throwing axemen. Uh, it's going to be Japanese, so their throwing axemen are very, very strong. Uh, you can get 40 of these, and basically you'll see them try and go for a bomber tower as a raising. When you get the raising, you will get five Genghis Khans, which are very, very strong units. Um, though, and you will get two reinforcement Genghis Khans every five or so minutes from the point that you raise. So, defending here, because it's Japanese, defending with your Axemen, trying to delay them from getting the Bomber Tower isn't the best decision ever, uh, because Japanese kill it so fast, as you can see Red killing Blue's Tower. Blue really, really needs to send more Axemen to Red's Tower, because if he gets raised and he doesn't raise Red, it's going to be a huge disadvantage. Bad. Yeah. So, in a 1 vs 1 Radical, you really, really have to raise very fast. Oh, he might get it. He got it. Yep, he's gonna get it right now. Oh, so you can see this Genghis Khan. It's very, very strong. 320 HP, 25 plus 2 AP, and 6 range. Those will just murder everything. And you want to try and hold on to those. Um, and slowly build up over time. Like I said, every 5 minutes you get 2 more. Uh, so you're gonna see them dancing around... Uh, with these Genghis Khans. They do have ballistics, so they're going to try and snipe each other's. And that's going to be the main portion of the game, um, is trying to build up that Genghis Khan population while trying to snipe your enemies. So Red just got Belsarius. Uh, they don't have very much attack, only 9 plus 3, and they don't really get the same bonus that Cataphracts get. However, they do have 230 HP, so they are very, very strong and that you can use them to kind of push your opponent back and gain map position, as you can see right now. And blue is going to rate... lose that second Bombard Tower. Yeah, red is Not good for one. him. Two more uh, sabs. Red got two, two sabs. saboteurs for that. Saboteurs are very, very strong against units and building, and they are very fast as well. So blue needs to watch out. Um, for those saboteurs, snipe them with his Genghis Khans before they reach his base. What time are you at, Mitch? 5.53. Ooh, we're even, I like it, okay. <laughs> so right now, it's basically Belsarius. They're waiting for the next unit to come, which is a Teutonic Knight. Um, and they're going to start sniping each other's cons. You can see it right here, Blue was in a very, very bad position. And Red can go as far forward as he likes now, um, because he's killed both of Blue's Bomber Towers, and he can kind of pen Blue into his base. Red is also making Camels right now. They do have a bonus against Belsarius. Uh, the only disadvantage with Camels is that um, the Genghis Khans can kill them faster than they can kill the Belsarius, and the Camels don't heal over time like the Belsarius does. Here come the Teutonic Knights, very, very strong. As I said before, the Belsarius don't get the same amount of bonus as a regular Cataphract does. They get a minor one, still not the same. So in the end, the elite Teutonic Knights are stronger, and they can punch right through those cavalry. So Red and Blue both got two more Genghis Khans. You can see Red with them right now. That's the reinforcement that happens and blue is going to get them fairly, fairly soon. So now they both have seven. Try and snipe each other's cons. If I was red, I would go forward right now since you have the numerical advantage. By the way, what is the like, Um, It really, really depends, I find, on the positioning um, more than the strength of the units and the numbers. But... In this situation, the Teutonic Knights are stronger than the Belsarius. Yeah, I think Red's gonna go uh, for his gate here in a minute when he pushes him back because he's got three sabs waiting there. Yeah, he's gonna go for the positioning. Um, I, I doubt he'd use the sabs on the gate. I could be wrong, but Maybe. I think he's gonna try and wait until Blue has exposed himself with those Genghis Khans and then use the saboteurs on the Genghis Khans goes, themselves. Though. Yeah, so he's gonna... If Blue keeps those cons there, it's gonna be very, very dangerous to him. 
if red can sneak those saboteurs in. If I was red, I would send a distracting um, group of units along the right hand side, distract blue for one second, and then send those sabs in from the rear, which you might actually see right now. Yeah, he's doing goes. exactly that, and blue's in trouble. Oh, blue's gonna lose all of those. Oh, he's, they're so low on health now. Yeah. Red should have gone forward with the Genghis Khans. He really, really missed his opportunity there. But it looks like he did some damage to that with those saboteurs. And he's going to take that fairly, fairly soon. Blue can't really go forward with his Genghis Khans because they are so weak. And Red is trying to snipe them from the left-hand side. He did get one. But all of them are about half health, one-third health. Very, very hard for Blue to push forward now. Once Red gets that um, gate, by the way, he's going to have another three saboteurs, and he can try and kill the rest of the cons with those. So in Radical Blood, um, I find it's all it's all about the positioning. Like, you can be behind by 100 kills. Blue, Blue could be ahead by 100 kills on this map right now and it still wouldn't matter um, because red just has the much much better positioning and he can snipe blue's cons at will it's also about micromanaging your genghis cons as well you always have to keep them labeled as a number i like labeling minus one and then always so going I. back to them um, every couple seconds you go back to your genghis cons make sure they're not getting hit um, kind of check out the map yeah, so Blue, it looks like Blue knew he was in trouble and he just resigned. Really, really no no hope for him. Red was ahead by 50 kills. He had the positioning. He had Blue's gate weakened. Not really much hope for Blue at all. Either that or somebody dropped. I don't know. Because it Nobody really resigned though. Yeah, see, drop. I was like, well, why didn't why didn't he just resign? <laughs> I think it was over anyway, right? <clears throat> yeah. Well, I think it was. Uh, it might have been he resumed uh, the lobby before he actually resigned, and then that kicks everyone that's spectating. So, I don't know. Oh, he dropped, and they saved. Yeah. Do they want to restore? <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was asking him. Are you going to Oh, I didn't even... Or... Sorry. I'm sorry, Mitch. No, I was zoned okay. out. <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't even pay attention to anything you say. I just... Damn. <laughs> He's so mean. It's a good thing he did save, though. All sorts of controversy if he didn't. Yeah. Although true. it was pretty obvious that uh, Vezir was losing. <laughs> what, Fran calling me noob? Is he has expert? Thank you, Fran. I'm a CS legend. So, if 7th won that game, it's going to be 2-2. Or no, they won the 1v1s, right? It'd be 3-1. And then they'd get a point. <laughs> I like how uh, Martin broadcast it cast by CS experts. That's what Fran's pointing out right now. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe you did that. No. He's too good for us. <laughs> I think in games like that, the other one who's losing is praying and hoping that you know, a big old mistake will be made, and <laughs> then they'll well, win. Well, yeah, I mean, even though it's not really likely, but still, that's that's the thing with 
top level CS games. It's uh, it's not how well you can play. It's it's what mistakes can't you make. <laughs> like I know, if you huh? if if you make one mistake, the game's over, basically. <clears throat> but cool, Savas is right. It's never over until it's over, and he is right about uh, that radical map. It has, I think, only 2,000 HP on the tower that you need to kill. Um, so you can actually, I've seen it done, you can rush with Balsarius. Did you watch? that whole CBA game uh, versus yeah, the OC. I was there with you, remember? Well, no, because I went and had dinner and I came Dan? back and it was still going. I think Dan was there. <laughs> I put I it on view was, lock. Was, were you there, Dan? Yeah, I was. Okay, yeah. I was streaming was it Dan. and I had it on I had it on and then I got called away for dinner because I was at my rent's house and then yeah, uh, I, I put it on view lock, I came back and it's still going. Yeah, it was a really, really good game. It was a really long game too, but Seventh thought they had it, and <laughs> huge mistake. <laughs> and then EOT ended up winning it. Because we even thought it was GG, too. Yeah, we definitely did. Who won it? It was uh, e EOT. EOT. I don't know how, but they did. So, <laughs> this map right here. Oh, they just restored the Radical. Okay. Yeah. So, both players are going to have to make sure to um, relabel their cons. Very, very important. When you restore a game, all your labels of the unit groups go away. And it looks like they both have already. Um, it also looks like blue and red both are on Mangadize as well. Uh, the Mangadize, because they are only 8 plus 2, have some trouble punching through that uh, Belsarius armor and HP. So they're really not as effective as you think they would be. Um, they Obviously they still are effective, but at the rate of spawning units you really don't want to get trapped in your base um, with just the Mangadai spawning. You always want some Belsarius's coming out as well. Right, got three more Sabs coming on the way too. Yep. And he's got a fourth one sitting over at the side. Yep. going for blue sabs. Yeah, he's going to try and kill those. Um, one sab can knock out all four of his. So, oh, that was bad. Blue did not put his sabs on stand ground position, which you really, really need to do. And it looks like they reacted automatically. And here oh come all gosh. four of blue sabs. Oh, he's going to kill all of those cons. He's going to kill all of the numbered towers. Wow, and there good. is no hope for blue whatsoever. That was an explosive ending for sure. <laughs>